So now you might recognize our next guest, even if only by his voice. All right, we're going to take a clip here in a minute. But Glenn Medeiros is the voice behind the 80s pop hit, Nothing's Gonna Change My Love For You. He and his daughter Lyric form one of the most yeah. in sync father-daughter duos that you will ever meet. They're live from Honolulu, Hawaii. Of course, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Glenn and Lyric, I hope you guys are there all the way from Hawaii. Glenn, first of all, we want to hear what's it like to be a pop star? Well, uh, grew up very young singing. Uh, got my first recording deal when I was 16 years old. And uh, I was very blessed. I didn't really appreciate it at the time. I just said everything moves so quickly. But but I did have the chance to travel to about 40 different countries and, and perform and learn a lot. So it was a great experience. All right. And now I hear you are the president of one of Hawaii's most prestigious high schools, St. Louis School in Honolulu. So how did you end up doing that? Well, uh, after being on the road for a while, I, I you know, I'd, I'd always wanted to be a teacher since I was a very young kid. But after the singing started slowing down a little, I, I said, you know, I'm going to go back to my original plan to become a teacher. So I've been an educator for about 20 years. I uh, worked on uh, work, went back to college, attained my doctorate degree in education and um, worked my way up from a teacher to dean to vice principal, principal and now president. And I'm having a great time here in Hawaii. Oh, I'm sure you are. All right, and what did it mean to you, Glenn, when Lyric was accepted into Notre Dame's class of 2023? Well, it, it meant a lot to me uh, because, you know, growing up on Kauai, all, every Catholic family like myself grew up and we, and we watch Notre Dame, and that's what we do. We get around the television set and we watch the football games, and, and, and my father had always had the dream uh, for me and my brother and my two sisters to attend. Uh, Notre Dame. We never had that opportunity, but when when Lyric had that opportunity and was was accepted, uh, I mean, it was a lot of crying, a lot of tears. Uh, my dad, unfortunately, is in heaven now. Uh, he passed away about 12 years ago, but but I'm hoping, that, I'm thinking that maybe he had a hand in this, and uh, and I, I'm very happy, and I know that Lyric is very happy too. All right, we're going to get to Lyric in just a second, but we have to bring in that clip right now. Let's go ahead and hear it. <laughs> My love for you. You want to know how much I love you. One thing you can be sure of. I've never asked for more than you love. Nothing's going to change my love for you. All right, what a classic. All right, Lyric, we have to hear from you. First of all, I want reaction on that video, but I also want reaction when you got accepted. Tell us about that acceptance letter, but first I want to hear about your reaction to that amazing video. <laughs> yes, I get it a lot um, at home. People ask me, do you know your dad was like a heartthrob? And I guess I say, that's cool. I can't really picture it, but awesome. Um, my reaction when I got into Notre Dame, it was just surreal. I was amazed. And the part that makes it so special is that it's not only my dream, but my dad's dream. And when I got accepted, it's like I'm going to college with my dad beside me. So I'm really excited and I'm so thankful. Oh, that is wonderful. And obviously your dad has passed down his love of music to you in your name, but you've also taken up performing as well. Of course, you were recently crowned Hawaiian Idol, which is amazing. You also made it to Hollywood Week of American Idol this year. First of all, congratulations on all of your success so far. So what does it mean to you to perform? Um, I think I've learned best from my dad that performing means telling a story and with each song you're able to share a message with your audience. You're able to take them away for a few moments, whether that be through love as a heartthrob or through sadness. It's a way to really connect with an audience. Absolutely. It's all about connecting to the audience and telling a story. And you two have quite the story to tell, I assume. All right. Thank you so much for being on Notre Dame Day. First of all, Glenn and Lyric, we look forward to having you on campus in the coming year, hopefully. We'll see you soon, Lyric. Yes. We'll be there go soon. Go Irish. All right. Go <laughs> Irish. Okay. But before we go, we're going to have to go to a video of Glenn and Lyric performing. Let's listen in. When I 